now, it's Troy here. Today I'm gonna be taking you through what I call an active recovery day. And for me, that's four days a week. Um, I really only live three days a week, maybe four, um, just because I like to get my body full time to recover because I also do play baseball. Um, so what this is, is a day where I'm trying to get my 10,000 steps. I go to do cryotherapy, Normatex, whatever it may be. Just something to get my, my body recovering a little faster. So I'm ready to go the next morning, hit the weights hard the next morning. Um, so for me, I'm going to, I just got back from my morning walk, so I got some uh, 3,000 steps in. I try to get anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 in the morning. And that really depends on how much time I have, what time of the day it is, because right now it's 9.20 in the morning and I have a lot of free time. But on a school day, I'll usually not go outside for my walk. I'll go on the treadmill for like 20 minutes before school, take my shower, get ready for class, all that stuff. So today I'm going to be going, I don't, I don't know if I really said, but I'm going to this place called CryoCove to get my cryotherapy done. I'm gonna be doing a level three, which means I'm gonna be in negative 180 for three minutes. Um, and then I'm also probably gonna be doing the normal text and possibly the sauna, depends on how I'm feeling. So right now I'm gonna go grab coffee because I do intermittent fasting. And if y'all know anything about that, intermittent fasting is where you eat 16 hours, or no, you don't eat 16 hours, and then you eat eight hours in the day. So black coffee doesn't break your fast. Black coffee has no calories whatsoever. If you really want to be technical about it, it has one calorie, maybe two calories. So you can drink black coffee, things like tea, as long as your coffee, you're not adding like creamers, sugars, all that stuff that has calories to it. You're not breaking your fast in any way, shape, or form. Um, I do intermittent fasting more so for the mental acuity part of it. It, uh, it has a benefit of weight loss, but I don't really, that's not the reason I'm doing it. So I'll take you through my day and I hope y'all enjoy. All right, y'all, just got back from getting my coffee. Um, just the easy way to get 10 steps in in the morning is to play with this little fella right here. Um, I don't know if you can see him all that well. This is my dude Finn. Yeah. I like to play with him uh, in the mornings. Uh, just a little bit. Just because he doesn't really have anything to do when we're not at home. This is an easy way to get some 10,000 steps. Uh, I can honestly get 1,000 steps pretty dang easily just running around with him for 10 minutes. Um, and to me that's, that's worth it. You know, playing with my dog, making him happy. And also getting 10,000 steps. Uh, that's my biggest thing on off days, because like I said, 10,000 steps burns anywhere from 400 to 600 calories. So if I can get some steps in doing something fun with my little my little bro, uh, Finn, I'll do it. Um, and as you can see, he's down right here. Loves his little ball, ain't that right? Yeah, yeah, he won't give it to me. He's real defensive of that thing. Um, but in a little bit, uh, around noon, noonish, it's uh, probably 11, probably 11.20 right now. I'm gonna go to the store, do cryotherapy, and I'll take y'all through that process. All right. All right, we back, y'all. Yeah, let it focus real quick. I'm gonna take a sec to talk about intermittent fasting because I mentioned it in my intro. So basically what I do is 16 hours off, I do not eat. Maybe like, you can drink water, obviously, coffee. I don't drink coffee all that much, but when I need it, I will drink it. So basically I do 16 hours off, like I said, and an eight hour eating window. For me, that, that's perfect, because if I end eating at eight at night, I eat at 12 the next day. I'm not a big breakfast person, as breakfast makes me feel very nauseous and very sick. So there are a few benefits here. Um, I use intermittent fasting to, to uh, get rid of a bunch of my weight when I was way overweight. I used to be 235, now I'm 180. Um, it helped me a lot. Uh, just manage how much I was eating, because I'm, I'm a constant overeater. I love my food, don't get me wrong. Um, but having a little window here kind of restricts me to my caloric needs and helps me to not overeat. So one of the benefits here is mental sharpness, like I said. Um, when I take tests and stuff and I'm fasted, I perform a lot better, and that's just for me. There's also weight loss benefits, like I said, and it promotes longevity. Like if y'all have heard of fasting, you probably associate it with like religious fasting, that type of thing. Um, but you can really add it to your lifestyle. Fitness is sort of a lifestyle and what you want to do. And I just added uh, fasting to it just because it makes, makes life a little bit easier. Anything to make life a little bit easier, right? Um, so like I said, there's the weight loss. I'm trying to get my mom to do it for that reason. Um, mental acuity, mental sharpness, and longevity. It's real good for your body to, to have a sort of set time to eat. Helps you digest things, help you have, helps you to not have like bowel problems, all that stuff. So that's what I do fasting for. Now I just wanted to give you this little talk before I go freeze my butt off in this cryo sauna a little bit. So I'll catch y'all later. All right, ladies and gents, it's that time. Time to get frozen down. Um, it's only lasting three minutes. I'm probably gonna do a level two. Not really feeling negative 180 right now. But um, this is what I look like before the cryo sauna, if that helps any of y'all. Um, and I'll get y'all back when I'm inside.
All right, so I just finished up in the craft sauna here. Um, usually you can burn anywhere from two to 400 if you're lucky. I probably only burn like 200. Feel good, feel cold. Um, yeah, this machine, something else. This is a different beast here. Um, yeah, but that was the cryo. I don't think I'm gonna do normal text today just cause I don't have enough time. We close at seven, I work here, um, and it's about 6.30 right now. So the normal texts take about a half an hour and the sauna takes just as much time. So I don't have as much time to really do all that right now. I probably could have done it earlier, but we had some people in. That's the machine right there. Um, yeah, it's got to let the pressure out, the excess pressure. But uh, yeah, that was a day of cry. That was a day of recovery. I'm going to go home, get some food in me, because I have not eaten that much today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. I think next I'm going to do a uh, training like Mike Tyson for a day challenge. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I hope you all have a good night, good day, whatever it is, whenever you're watching this. And peace out.